Hi, it's Victoria from fbadqueen.com and Facebook have made some more changes, surprise, surprise, um, this time to your ads manager and how you create your ads. Now, their objective in this instance seems to be to make the ad platform as easy as possible for newbie advertisers. So I just wanted to make sure that you're aware of the changes because you can get caught out with a couple of things um, if you're not aware of it. Um, but also just to take you through, take you on a tour of the changes and make sure you understand the capabilities of the new interface. So the first thing you'll see is that there's a new URL, facebook.com forward slash ads forward slash manage forward slash ads creator. So you can go there perhaps if they haven't yet rolled this out for your um, ads manager yet. But when you um, select the green create an ad, button you'll see this um, landing page which uh, you know at the top they've talked about how they've updated it there's a page about um, you know an overview of the changes but I'm going to take you through those in detail they're more about what they're referring to as your ad objective what you most want your ad to do for you Facebook are trying to automate that to happen for you um, but that may not always be in your best interest. So uh, generally, you know, they try and make things happen so that uh, they can uh, show your ads more or, or end up sometimes end up costing you more. I don't think they're intentionally doing that. I think that they they definitely want more people to use the ads interface and um, and and it to be easier for them to use. So this is definitely easier for a newbie advertiser who doesn't know anything about ads to just come in and pretty much put their ad on autopilot. But what I'm here to just show you is that some of those elements may not serve you in the best way and I just want to highlight those. So you'll come to this um, this page. So I might put in a, um, a one of my Facebook page to that I want to send ad traffic to. In this case, it might be a dentist. So um, I select the page name. Then it gives me two options. What do I want to promote? DCA Dental, which is a Facebook page, or a specific post. So this is how I select a page post ad. Um, so if I selected the page post ad, it's going to allow me to choose a page post um, down from the recent post. Now this is a new page, so there's not many here, but you know I could put that one there and you can see on the preview here. Um, now I wouldn't use that as an ad, so it's not something I would choose to do, but if you've got something where you're, you've put an image in your post and a link back to a landing page or a website, then this might work well for you. Um, you may also put a, um, a link to an event, a Facebook event or something like that, then a page post advertisement would be appropriate. You can also just always choose to promote your recent post, most recent post and keep running that. Um, and so that will automatically be updated when, as, as and when you post. So that this is a strategy if you always want to be in uh, the news feed of your fans. So um, this is something that's available to higher level advertisers with these, um, you know, uh, where you pay a certain amount of per month and your ad is always running. But that's not available to um, non-premium advertisers. So this is a good substitute. So that means that your posts are always in um, in the feeds of your current fans, um, or not in the feeds, on the page, so to speak. It doesn't go into the feeds. Um, it would be just shown as a normal Facebook ad. <clears throat> so that's an option in how you do your page post ads. But I'm going to go back to the other one and look at promoting um, the page and how what options we get from there. So in this instance, um, we select the page and then people will see I'm going to select a new ad about DCA Dental. So this is a new ad about my Facebook page. Now, what the, one of the biggest changes... Oh, one of the biggest changes is that they're, they're automatically populating this um, information, which they were doing before, so it's, that's, that's actually not the biggest change. But this format is slightly different. It, you can see it all in one box. It's a lot easier to, um, to populate. So the thing is, if you're advertising to a Facebook page um, and you're selecting this method, you cannot change the headline still. So... Um, that that hasn't changed. Um, if you wish to change a headline, then you have to select a URL, and I'll show you how to do that in a moment. Um, and then now this is automatically populating the text of the ad from my about section in that page. So that is obviously not a um, 
you know, a compelling message for a Facebook ad. So I would change that, particularly because I'm choosing to send this ad to one of my custom tabs on um, on my page. So um, I would want that to be about the offer on on that tab. I'll just show you what that tab looks like. Um, it's one of these, they've got several branches, so we've got some tabs. If you go in here, you'll see it's a special whitening offer um, that was you know, auto-created. This was actually a light gate, so there is, um, or a reveal tab, so there is another image that sits on this for new likers, um, and then they click to get the offer. Um, I am finding, although I'm not a great fan of the reveal tab, I am finding with the new timeline that in all, if your objective is to get more likes when you've got a new page, that the reveal um, tab is working quite well. So you can still use that by uh, using this uh, using ads to drive traffic there. Um, your new traffic will not default to any um, custom tab you create. It all any new traffic that's not sent from an ad does go to your timeline. That's why you need to use the um, use ads to send people direct to your tabs, or you can put the link elsewhere on your site or on your Facebook page if you don't want to use ads to promote it. Um, but as we all know, ads are the fastest and uh, easiest way to get more traffic and um, conversions on your um, <clears throat> to your offer. So. Basically, you will put, populate your headline and your text, and I'd put a call to action in here about the offer um, and make it relevant to that landing tab. Then I'm going to choose my image as always, um, and that uh, has not changed to be 110 by 80. Um, so they've just put some tips in here about an eye-catching eye image. So you want 110 wide by 80 um, pixels high, and um, so that's a normal upload your image. Um, it will go here just to check there. So it shows some of the other images that I've had, um, I've used for some of my other campaigns. So it will pop that up automatically, or you can go and um, select an image from your database with the upload button. So the, now here's the thing where we can select the landing views with those custom tabs. So I'm going to select, um, you can go to the timeline. Resume is just this automatically created tab. I'll show you what that looks like actually. I've shown you that before in my. Um, Oh no, I won't show you that because it doesn't automatically come up. Uh, it's it, I don't know why you'd really be using it. It's one page that Facebook creates that's basically a profile of your business. Um, I would never use that. Uh, so we want to select to that special offer. That doesn't actually change what the, how the ad looks like. It just changes where the ad goes. And then the ad will be going to that app there. So you see up there, special offer. And I can choose one of the other tabs depending on how many I've put there. And... Um, I want to, I want to um, if I wanted to do a sponsored story, it would go to stories about their friends liking my page. Now, I'm not going to do that because only uh, eight people are liking this page at the moment. We've only just set it up. So um, that's, the, that's the button that you will select to do a sponsored story. Um, and nothing's changed about how they, how they look. It's just more about um, how... Uh, uh, what the objective is in a sponsored story. So if, I, if I'm going to keep it to a tab, I just go down to my normal targeting. Just be aware that now the precise interest in the broad categories are shown in the one screen. So you can use either um, either or or both, which before um, it, was a, it was a lot harder to use both. Um, they, they changed it recently and you could. I just suggest that unless you've got, you really don't know your audience at all and you're just trying to do a bit of research, then use broad categories. But I would stay away from that and always use precise interests where we're putting in ideally Facebook pages that are relevant to um, this offer. Um, connections, it's just, it's changed a little bit in that they've just popped up. It's, so it's easier for people to see how to connect to people who are already um, liking the page or not. And then you can do advanced connection where you can um, look at, you can put in people connected to other pages that you admin um, and or applications and also friends of fans there. Um, now this is where this changes your bidding. So show this to people who are most likely to either like your page or click on your ad or sponsored story. So just be aware, this is the big one here, and this is for sponsored stories or ads to pages only. The, you, when you use a unique URL, this won't come up because they'll automatically, um, that just goes for clicks on ads. But if you're advertising to a Facebook object, you've got the opportunity to um, select either 
optimize to like the page or optimize for more clicks on the ad. The biggest thing you need to know is if you choose this option of this objective of show this to people who are most likely to like my page, you'll automatically be charged, look down here, CPM. Now you know I never advocate using CPM. I don't think that it's um, the best opportunity for, <laughs> for your campaign or your budget. So just be aware that you do, do even if your objective is to get page likes, that's fine. Using a sponsored story or a page post ad um, or um, even an ad to your page where the social context is underneath and the like button pops up underneath, that, that will um, promote it to people who are going to like your page, particularly if you only advertise to people who are not connected to DCA Dental. So they're the, they're the things that are going to make sure that people like your page, not just selecting this. So when you go show this to people who are most like, likely to like my page, you are going to be paying CPM. So don't fall into that trap. Um, select click on my advert. So then it says CPC and then you have the opportunity to bid and there's a bid range. You'll notice that when I selected like my page, you couldn't even um, submit a bid for a CPM. They're just going to charge it however it works for them. So do not choose like my page. Um, I mean, obviously you can set your daily campaign budget, but so you'll never overspend if you do that, but uh, you're never going to get the optimum um, opportunity there. So that's one of the biggest things. And that also happens if I had selected a sponsored story um, here. They actually do not give me, oh no, they do give me the option. Sorry, I thought they didn't. Um, so that automatically defaults to like my page too. So we'd need to click, on, we'd have it so that they click on it. And that's how you get the cost per click. So they've eliminated basically bidding opportunities for cost per impression. So that's the biggest, uh, one of the biggest changes. Now going back, if um, we, you want to see how one of the changes when you're selecting a URL, going to do that um, you would put in here uh, enter a URL so I might just if I wanted to put in whoopsie future many T's there if I wanted to put in a actual web address web page I put that in and select that and then what it does is it automatically populates information from your website in here. So once again, they're just trying to make it easier for people um, to create ads. Uh, so, you know, this, once again, all the things they're doing to make it easier would not make good advertising or good Facebook advertising. So I love that the interface is cleaner and it is easier to navigate, but please just be aware, don't go with the defaults. Um, your ads will not um, work uh, to the best, uh, you know, the, the, the best opportunities. So I wanted to take you through that and make sure you know, um, you've still got the opportunity with the URL to have, um, you know, sorry, you, you don't is what I was gonna say. It's only clicks. So you can only use cost per click now to an external URL. So that's one of the other major changes is that you cannot use CPM to an external URL. So please keep that in mind. But I'm not concerned about that because like I said, I don't advocate using CPM anyway. But that's a pretty big change to the ads interface. Um, so it's definitely worth knowing about. So as always, um, come past my Facebook page or on my website, leave a comment um, and let me know, you know what you think of the new changes or if you've got any questions, just come and ask them on my Facebook page at www.facebook.com forward slash ad queen page and I'll see you there. Good luck creating your ads.